Paul, many years ago when I was an apprentice just like you, I used to use the Colchester Triumph Flave. Now, it was an absolutely fabulous machine tool, and I believe everyone in the industry, if you got them to mention a lathe, a manual lathe, they would mention Colchester, such an iconic name. But now they've evolved into CNCs. Tell our audience about this evolution. Well, they've moved on. I mean, and like you say, I mean, I know you did your apprenticeship a long time before I did because of your age, but they have moved on. And look, now we've got Colchester Typhoon B65 MSY. This is a, a, a machine that is all about automation. This is a machine that's got two spindles. It's got uh, the ability to do milling on it as well. It's got a Y axis and we've got a terrific um, machining operation happening here on titanium of all materials. We, we, we visited a company here today that are challenging limits. You know, they're making components for the F1 industry, the rally industry. Um, and, and like you mentioned, titanium, they're making some very not only out of hard materials or tough materials, but to the very tightest tolerances. And they can only achieve that because of a machine that has got, you know, the ability to, to not grow when it's when it when it's in you know heated conditions, a machine that's stable enough and, and constructed to perform on operations like this. But I think this is really about a journey here. This company um, had a had a previous brand, it was a two-axis machine, they were moving parts around the machine shop. They wanted to go to a supplier that could they could entrust uh, and would provide them with a machine that we all know Colchester is going to last. I think there's two types of people in machine tools when they buy them. There's the ones that buy machines based on what it costs and they don't care if it only lasts three or four years and there's the ones that buy machines that they want them to do the same in five years time or ten years time as they do today and, and I, this machine is going to be one of those. It's a fantastic transition Paul and with this particular machine you've got twin spindle a yeah, I mean, let's look at that tooling. boring operation um, again. It's, it really is nice to see a machine in action in a machine shop, uh, and and to see the machine cutting material. As, uh, you know, as we walk away here, you can see the material that, that's coming off the machine. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of action going on in uh, in the machine itself. One thing I just wanted to point out to camera as well is this this tool holder here um, with the, the the two ends on it. Uh, this is the type of tool here where you can have a driven tool both sides. So you've got a driven tool that goes into the sub spindle as well as the main spindle, which alleviates having to have maybe two stations on the turret taken up. Now that was a real beast of a machine. Uh, this isn't much different, but it's just smaller. The compactness of this machine, you know, the footprint of this machine, and then when you look inside, Paul, it's quite overwhelming. The, the actual size that you've got in there is quite. It surprised me a lot to have an 18-inch chuck in such a full, small well, full well, this is what the operator said. The operator said when he first saw the machine, he thought, my God, I'm going to be restricted in what I can make, the size, the capacity. Am I going to have to uh, you know, judge my programming in, in such a way that uh, means I don't get collisions? But then he looked inside and he said, I've got a big chuck, I've got a, a long turn in length, and I've got the capacity to be able to turn large diameters. I like the turret here as well. I like the size of the turret on the machine, the amount of tools that they've got in there, and more importantly, like you say, the capacity. And it's another example of Colchester Machine Tools being able to offer uh, these CNC solutions to companies. Uh, the company Colchester Machine Tool Solutions uh, was rebranded a couple of years ago. They've got a facility in Ellens where they've got a showroom where you can see machines like this that are actually in stock at the moment as well.